three minutes until showtime. I am not fucking with that. We on though. Um, 2G say he coming through. Yeah. 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 I know, dog. We call my real shit. That's what's up, dog. I like it. Crazy, man, do crazy. Then we get the top of the touch, we get the lick in the stick, and now you know what we're doing with your round of music. We go to perfect positions, we get it. Yeah, that's all I want. I'm a pro with the woody sandwiches. Make a bust a few times when I come through. You look like a bunny kicking like Kung Fu. You're going crazy. You're going nuts too. You don't got to play it. You don't got to play it. You don't got to play it. I cannot myself. I don't know. Oh, I can't do all this. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ustream. Oh, probably zero bit. Oh, you know what? I probably need to send out that text message. I sent you the first one. One minute until showtime. I don't know how I can just send out a massive text. I don't know what's up, dude. I don't know what's up, dude. Oh, you mean? No, I gotta do that too. I tried to put it in a group, but it's still. You know what I mean? It's got it's a way to do it, though. Showing up, Gucci down to the shoe lady. Honey cats in the chain, no food gays. Cold still sweat the on a cool day. The mother son was at him like they was a the sun. You gotta say that what you say. I got you talk. from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you from the bait to the UK. I got you Yo, 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 it's the deal. It's your boy, Hood Howard Stern. We ain't doing that yet, though. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you know what it is, man. E-block. Six months now, man. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. No, you don't shout out today either. I forgot. Oh. Niggas up on every song, trying to make things right, cause I didn't get so much wrong. I'm praying time don't pass me up, got me running deep. Sometimes all this life was a dream, but I'm never sleep. I'm looking at my son, hoping I can make it better. I gotta make these moves quick, gotta get together. I'm getting older now, I can't let time pass me up. People trying to hold me down, but I'm never giving up. My mind struggle day to day, gotta make a way. Niggas say I can't do better, fuck what niggas gotta say. It's only me, but fuck it, I'ma still make it up. Crying age, they can see a struggle with my life about. No matter what I'm faced with, I'm still going on. Through the pressure and pain, I still stand strong. I just let these niggas talk and still do me. My crying never stops, nigga, how it's supposed to be.
Dead road, didn't have shit Got on my grind and my hustle, I ain't stopping shit Too many niggas walked away and couldn't help me out And now I'm seeing what my real niggas all about You see I need on my own, fighting every day Bro, no money, maintain, still made away Cause you can never hold a real ass nigga down I got my head to the sky, feet to the ground I had to make a way, struggle too many years Pissed off at myself, cause I see my mom's in tears Living check by check for bullshit, pay I promise I'ma make it right, I'ma make it way And you won't have to do a thing, just sit and chill And you will never have to worry about the fucking bills I put that on my life, everything gon' feel right I know it's work right now, but we gon' feel like I gotta make it out of this place Yeah, I Yo, 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 it's the deal, for real this time. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis. Monk Money. You know what I'm saying? You know what this is, man. Straight from the E-Block. Every, every Tuesday on your dial, you know what I'm saying, 6.30. If you're somewhere else, then you might be an hour behind, you know what I'm saying? I got to give a shout out to some of my people down in Arkansas listening. You know what I'm saying? So they're an hour behind, but you know what? It's all good, though. And you know what it is, man. It's Tuesday. Uh, tweet me Tuesday. So if you got Twitter, hit us up. Hood Howard Stern, then you got Real Monk Money. Uh, you can hit up They Call Me Shy too, but he ain't here. But uh, my man 2G is supposed to be in the building in a little bit. He probably running late, you know what I'm saying, just getting back on tour. You know how he do, you know what I'm saying. So you hit my man up. That's uh, Doc Diggler. Uh, two G's, you know what that is. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, it's Tuesday, man, so you know how we do, dog. You know what I'm saying? What you had going on this weekend? Man, not too much of nothing, dog. Yeah, back on that bullshit, huh? Back on that bullshit, <laughs> Under the ground. Man. Under the ground? Yeah. Ain't nothing happened this weekend? Let me see what happened. This weekend. I, don't, I don't know. Nothing really, huh? Nothing. Now, I don't even remember. Let me see what... Oh, you know what, man? This weekend was like the super low-key weekend, dog. I didn't do nothing. Matter of fact, on some real, like, old man shit, dog. Friday night... No, nah, Friday night. Yeah, Friday night, I went to holler at my sister, though, because I went to see my, little, my other little nephew... Uh, hoop, you know what I'm saying? Hoop for a little YMCA league. Okay. Uh, they did that thing, man. My man scored four points. It was kind of live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, uh, they end up winning by one because uh, it was a little back and forth game. So it was a good game, actually. You know what I'm saying? He eight. Everybody else on the team, ten. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to big up my, my little nephew, CJ. Right, right. got to put and, that out there. You know what I'm saying? got to put that out there. And uh, my nephew, Malk, man, he playing right. Actually, one time at 630, he'd be playing in about a half hour out in Dearborn. But I went to see him play. Uh, Friday, Friday night, they uh they play E course. I'm letting you know right now, dog. Have you ever been to E course? Dog, E course is so hood. Yeah. I had no idea, dog. I thought I was in the D, man. I thought I was at the PSL game. Yeah. Man, we had to get winded down and everything. Metal detectors, <laughs> like like no white people. Like I thought I was in the city, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh Detroit Consortium, though. They went ahead and ran them boys out the gym. You know they thought they was doing something at first. But uh, they ain't doing nothing. So all I'm saying is I'm getting my I'm getting my my truck prepared to make that trip up to the Breslin. You feel me? Because that's where the state championships at. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Detroit Consortium and my uh, little nephew Mount. So I seen both of them hoop this weekend. But uh, Saturday night, man, after after I did this little game Saturday morning, man, I came to the crib and like for real, around ten o'clock, my eyes was burning, right? <laughs> so I'm like, uh, I hollered at my man's. I was supposed to go holler at some of my people down at uh, MGM. And uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to take me a small nap, you know what I'm saying, about 10 o'clock. Take me a little small nap to about 11, you know what I'm saying, get up and then go, you know, kick it with the homies. Yeah, so I went and took that nap, right? So then I woke up Sunday morning, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't do nothing all weekend. I, you know, shout out to Triumph Church, though. I did go to church, you know what I'm saying, did my, did my Jesus thing, you know what I'm saying, shout out to J.C., I did too. Yeah. I did. Actually, I, I, I forgot to put. No, you went to church this yeah, weekend. What? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, dog. What church you went to? Um. Uh oh, my bad. I forget the name. Yeah. 
But you know, a good service. It was straight dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Shout out to Flynn. He was pastor. Yeah. Did his thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that thing. You know what I'm saying? Get, get your Jesus on us. What's got, up? Got to. Got to. Got, got to do that. Got, or, got, got to do something. Got to do something. Yeah, but uh, like what a, I mean, really, that was about it though. Oh, shout out to my granny. You know, what I'm saying it was my granny' birthday uh, on uh, on Saturday. It was her birthday, so shout out to granny over there, mean as hell, but she's still my dog though. You know, what I'm saying yeah, I guess when you get that age, though, you can, you can be mean, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I ain't gonna put her age out there because I know women don't like the age on blast. Right, right. But uh, let me see outside of that, then, then nothing really happened. No, nothing I can think of though. You ain't seen no movies lately though. No, you know what I said? Uh, safe house, man. Yeah, you saying it was good. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was, it was good. Right. Yeah, it was all right. I was gonna. Uh, it was all right. I was gonna probably try to get on bootleg. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you call your guy after this. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the bootleggers. But uh, otherwise, man, I guess pretty much we had a low key weekend. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I will. I do want to uh, talk about a couple things though. Uh, first off, uh, the Whitney, <laughs> the Whitney Houston funeral. Though. So when the Houston funeral was was really it really was that deal though. It was a good funeral actually. Uh, I mean I, I guess if you can say it was a good and funeral in the same sentence. Yeah. But uh, it was straight though actually. I mean Detroit was representing though. They had a whole gang of people from Detroit. Um, however, all right. Now I ain't never been to uh, I ain't never been to the Winans Church, but uh, I don't I don't think he represented like he was supposed to. No, I I don't think so. I like I ain't never been to his church, so I don't know. I have, I yeah. have, I have been to his church, man. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, he, I mean, you do feel a feel a love. You yeah. Know? I didn't but, feel it at the service though. But you know, I looked like I was there. Yeah, right, 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 right. But sometimes you know, there though, I feel like it could be like a fashion show. You know what I'm, I'm saying? sure, I'm sure, because yeah. it's a, it's like a, yeah, it's like a place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm sure. But yeah, I just don't think he represented though. I, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably funny, but the liveest person I heard up there was Tyler Perry. Though <laughs> Tyler Perry got busy though, he he might as well just go ahead and add Pastor to his resume because he was doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? But uh, shout out to everybody who uh, who was able to attend the funeral, all the people who watched it on uh, on CNN or on uh, BET. I watched it on BET. You know what I'm saying? I support my black folks. But uh, it was crazy because it was just like everybody was watching that jump. Like, it was blowing up on Facebook. It was blowing up on Twitter. Everybody was, like, watching every moment of it. So, I mean, you can I think we, the, the, the whole point, obviously, was to celebrate, you know what I'm saying, the life of Whitney Houston. But at the same time, I think that, uh, I think that that was a good thing for uh, for Christianity, I guess, if, yeah. if you want to call it that. Yeah. yeah. Because it just had a whole lot of people doing the church thing that normally wouldn't, you know. So, I think it gave a lot of us, uh, a lot of us sinners the opportunity to get our church on, you know what I'm saying? That, that was a good look. Uh, and for all the people hating about, you know what I'm saying, or speculating about Bobby Brown, look, Bobby, whatever happened, it happened. He left that mall without creating a scene, everything good. Didn't nobody, nobody dropped the cast and nobody tried to jump in. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I think all in all, it was a success. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get ignorant like he Right, he didn't get got. ignorant like he could have got, you know what I'm saying? But uh, people just always ready to, they just uh, yeah. They just always always ready to do something. Always ready to talk about something. So, you know. Anyway, shout out to them. Everything went out without a hitch. You know what I'm saying. Um, also, keeping up with with uh, Black History today is the uh, the twentieth, I believe, right? The twentieth, and today is actually. Oh, I'm sorry, the twenty first is uh actually uh the day uh that uh Malcolm X got uh got assassinated. So. Okay. Man, shout out to to our fallen black leaders. Uh, we need some more of those black leaders, like we always talk about, right? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I guess we gotta stop talking about it and just be them leaders ourselves. But anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, also, though, I don't know if you've seen on YouTube, but you know, Motor City Casino is famous right about now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight clowning, dog. I haven't seen the check, but I man. Really want to see it. Man, I mean, dog, they jumping over tables. Pull some girl whole little wig off. I, I was gonna say weave, but this was a whole wig. <laughs> I mean, it's just fooling. And what's funny about it was that I seen it. I seen it on the news last night, so I posted on on Facebook right quick, like, dog, they out here fooling or whatever, right? And then uh, somebody commented on there like, uh, like, wow, I can't believe all these people commenting on something that they don't know nothing about. So look here, 
<laughs> okay, I don't need to know nothing about it. But a whole bunch of women fighting yeah. in a public place. I don't give a fuck what happened. Yeah, it's stupid. Uh, it's stupid. It's stupid. I, it ain't no way that you can even you can justify that. It's, so whatever. It's dumb. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, whatever. It, stop making excuses for foolishness. That's yeah. that's all I'm saying. Just quit making excuses for foolishness. You out there clowning? These be the same chicks at church on Sunday morning, mm -hmm. and then on yeah, Monday. So church didn't party the, the next day. The next day, right? You know what I'm saying? Then be on Monday talking about how these dudes ain't respecting them. Like, uh, you don't respect yourself. So, all right, so, how about that? But uh, anyway, so, all right, enough of the, enough of the, the, the madness, because that's, that's all that seems like is going on these days. I guess the, the reality of it is that some of these motherfuckers is just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, the, obviously, that's what we're talking about this week. So, if, uh, if you've been following us on Twitter or on uh, Facebook, you know, today's topic is about uh, mental illness in the black community. Man, I'm just trying to see for real, is it is it something that's for real? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or, I, I almost want to say that, that doctors might be hyping it up to, to pad their pockets. I don't know. Some of these people are kind of, you know, kind of distraught. But we're going to dive into that, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're talking about this week. So if you're on Ustream and you want to call in and comment, you got to hit us up, 760-283-4647. Uh, if you're already on the phone line, you can hit that number one key and comment on today's subject. Today's subject, obviously, again, is uh, mental illness in the black community. We're trying to see what's going on. Are these people really crazy or, you know what I'm saying, what's up? We're going to go to commercial break. I'm going to let y'all think about that for a minute. Grab your popcorn. Grab your poonski or whatever because it's Fat Tuesday. <laughs> if you got to get your poonski, go ahead and eat your poonski while we at, while we at commercial break. You feel me? We'll be back in like one minute. Holla at your boy. <laughs> If you need to promote business, service, product, or engagement that you want to promote, and you're tired of promoting on Facebook, you should take advantage of our daily growing audience right here at Straight from the E-Block. Our radio show is via the internet every Tuesday evening from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. All you need to do is create an audio file for your commercial and send it to us at flipsideinkpublishing at gmail.com. The clip should not be longer than one minute. It should include enough information to describe what you are selling and where your service, product, or engagement can be found. Log in and listen to Straight from the E-Block at www.blogtalkradio.com slash flipside-inc or call in at 760-283-4647 every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. and listen to our high topic and soon your commercial. Check the website for details www.flipside-inc.com Yo, 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 we back, man. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern. That dude, Monk Money. You know what I'm saying? And this is Straight From The E-Block. You are now locked in. Hey, so you know uh, you know what we got on deck, man. We're just trying to see it. Are, are people really out here on some for real craziness, man? What? What's, <laughs> I'm almost scared to ask you what you think, dog. <laughs> Man, hell yeah, they fucked up in the brain. Yeah. Man. They <laughs> chemically balanced, they they thrown off, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Crack has a lot to do with it. Crack yeah. fucked up our people a whole lot. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I think they really are thrown off, man. It's a lot of kids out here, man. That's and, and me personally, I think come from parenting because from one, they were stoned off. Right. You know what I'm saying? They still in that same cycle. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. shit, you're gonna be thrown off, you know what I mean? Regardless, you know what I'm saying? And I don't really think the doctors have no fucking special remedy for that bullshit yeah. or no drug, you know what I mean? But these these little motherfuckers is going crazy, man. <laughs> for real. For real. Just shooting people for no reason. Yeah. Robbing niggas and sh killing them. Like, you already robbed them. What you gonna kill them for? Yeah. You know? I, I mean, I feel you, but I mean, also I think that that whole mental illness and that, like you saying, people just out here being crazy is a is a is an excuse, dog. And some of these people ain't crazy, man. They just out here doing shit, and no, you ha something has to be wrong with you to do something. To, the shit that these kids are doing nowadays, yeah. bro. Something has to be, bro. It's no excuse, man. You do the dumb shit. You know it's a penalty for it. You know what the penalty is. Well, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Well, I mean, I gotta go back to you know what. What my man Angry Man normally say, and I don't know if he gonna be able to call today, but uh, we had kind of kicked it on this subject uh, not too long ago, and you know his whole theory is that 
it ain't it ain't that they crazy. It's just that the penalty, the penalties ain't stiff enough. So exactly. they figure if you can get away with the shit or going to jail for a couple years, a few years or whatever, ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But I, I think obviously, obviously there are some people out here that's uh <laughs> that's out here just bold. You know, chemical imbalance, whatever you want to call it. But uh, also, I think the doctors and, and the the whole medical industry is just kind of trying to make more. They're making more money off of it, just like how we used to talk about little kids. Remember when when what was that shit? Ritalin first came out. Mm -hmm. We was just like, dog, beat your kids' ass, man. They ain't got no attention to deficit or nothing. You just need to get in their ass and show them what to do. I this is the same thing. I mean, I do agree with that. And if a lot of parents getting these kids' ass off the rip, then. Then we wouldn't have a lot of these problems we have. But the parents are so thrown the fuck off that <laughs> they just let them do whatever the hell they want to. No monitoring them or nothing. Because yeah. if a 17 year old out at 4 o'clock in the morning, where's your mama? Right. What the fuck my mama would have? I would have got home, I would have got my ass lynched. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I got home at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> said lynch. Lynch, bro. You know what I'm saying? They still lynching, mama. That's so. right. Still, that's, hell yeah. <laughs> Mama's still lynching motherfuckers. She's still lynching motherfuckers to this day. Right. But, you know, I mean, where's the parents at, dog? There's no guidance, bro. I mean, yeah, it ain't, yeah, I feel that. And that's that's my thing. Like, it ain't no guidance. The, uh, ain't no guidance. The, the penalties. I, I mean, I guess I can say the penalties not stiff enough. I guess I can say that. But. That too. Yeah, but, like, these motherfuckers just ain't crazy, though. I can't believe that. Everybody ain't crazy. No. Everybody who taking Xanax ain't crazy. Everybody who taking antidepressants ain't really depressed. Hell no, they want some get doped up. That's they chemically <laughs> imbalanced, dog. They thrown the fuck off. That shit popping them pills. That yeah. shit throw you off. Popping shit that you don't even need. What do you yeah. This shit isn't even prescribed to you. You trying to get this off the corner. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to my neighborhood dealers. Right. You know, poppers. Right. Shout out to neighborhood <laughs> Sir dealers. Sippers. That somebody is keeping y'all in business, you right, know what I'm right. saying? I mean, cause, I mean, you taking stuff for no reason, and then I mean, yeah, I mean, you got to be crazy to do that. Just pop pills. Yeah, I guess so. I, you know what? And for one thing, though, for us though, I think that in the black community, it's it's so it's so taboo to be. I don't want to keep saying crazy. I guess that ain't politically correct, but uh, it's so taboo to be like to have a mental issue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So even if you do have one, you nine times out of ten you're not gonna get no help for it because you scared somebody. You scared of what people gonna mm -hmm, think. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I don't. Know, it's a double edged sword. There's some people out here that really need medication. There's some people out here just milking the system. Though. Yes, so, it is. Yeah. And, and, and people that that care about what another person think about you. That's just the dumbest shit in the world. <laughs> I mean, I, me, my person, I can care less what another person can think about me unless yeah. they helping me paying my bills. Right, there's so what few people doing that. So, yeah, so <laughs> what the hell? Right. Uh -huh. Hell no. Hey, don't forget, man, if you're on Ustream and you want to comment on this uh, on this topic, you got to hit us up, 760-283-4647. If you're on the phone line right now, hit that number one key so you can, uh, so you can holler at us live. I'm going to go uh, to the phone lines real quick. I'm gonna take a take a call. I got three one three five one six. You on live straight from the E block. I'll let your boy. What up though? Hey, this is Keita. Hey Keita. What up though, Keita? Hey, I just wanted to say you were talking about the mo um the mothers out at four o'clock in the morning. The more mothers are out with, with the new men every night. They're in the club. I mean they don't and then the kids don't have concerns about the future. They don't even think about the future. Nope, nope. Right, and, and I and I certainly agree with that. So I'm thinking that that's got that's part of the problem. These people ain't out here crazy, man. Yeah, I don't right. Right. They, but I mean, it, it is a, it is a lot of people that's um that's mentally ill. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm saying that's neglect, though. That shit is mentally ill. You got to be mentally ill to leave your fucking twelve so, year old at home going to the club. Yeah. Hey, so so Keto, let me ask you this. Um, if as far as mentally ill goes, do you think that that's something? Something that's created by environment or something that's actually a physical uh, imbalance? I think it's a physical imbalance. Uh -huh. I think that um, I think that um, drugs are more accepted nowadays. Uh -huh. And people are smoking weed, drinking while they're pregnant. And everything that that man does, um, it's not necessarily the woman that's, that's, um, that's the, to blame. It's the man, too. 
you know, because whatever he's doing is going to affect that baby that's, um, when, I mean, whatever is in the man is in his firm, put yeah. it that way. And so whatever he does is going to affect that baby too. That's true. So, I mean, really, I think it's an imbalance. Yeah. I think it's a lot more people than we think that has a um, mental illness. Yeah. Or yeah. that we admit. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. All right, Keita. Hey, thanks for your call. That's what I think. Yeah, okay. For, for sure. Hey, wait, tell everybody where you calling from, baby. Detroit. <laughs> all, all right, right. Now. Yeah, I'm good. They appreciate it. All right, bye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I, she was already on the defense. Though, we said something Come about mama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, man. Yeah, I ain't mad at her either. either. But, uh, no, so, so she pretty much saying that, uh, that it, it it could possibly be a chemical imbalance or whatever, and it's something that's physical. I I don't know. I think that I think a lot of mental issues can be can be brought on too though. And, and the only reason I mention that is because uh, uh the other night or a couple of weeks ago I was watching uh Raising Cain. You ever seen that? This is an old movie with John Lithgow, right? But what happened was was uh his his dad was a was a psychiatrist or whatever, and he he actually. Like did shit to him all while he was a kid to make him have per, uh, uh, multiple personalities or whatever. Like he just he traumatized him basically to to make him have split personalities or whatever. So I think certain certain things that happen in your life can cause you to kind of go crazy. But at the same time, do, do you really go crazy or are you just not strong enough to deal with it? I mean. I don't know. <laughs> right. I mean, basically, dog, crazy motherfucker got to raise crazy motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, what? Listen to what I'm saying. A crazy motherfucker uh, got to raise a crazy motherfucker. So this yeah. motherfucker get that craziness from somewhere. And like baby girl said, in the sperm, whatever the man do, she she got a point. Whatever this whatever motherfucker do, do it. Yeah, this motherfucker going to have some of them symptoms. Yeah, I guess <laughs> some of them, right. you know. Hey, so you think it'll be hereditary, like crazy? It's definitely, that is definitely hereditary. I think it's so. Now, now that may not be true though. I mean, and all the reason I said it because it was another movie I seen, right? <laughs> what was the name of that movie, dog? Uh, damn, I can't remember the name of it. But dude was a uh, dude was slow, and and he had a uh, like he had some kind of mental illness, and uh, he had a kid, and she came out perfectly fine. I can't remember the name of it. I mean, yeah, it hit a miss. It can hit a miss. You I don't know. know. I, I think it's created by situations, though. I think like some kind of traumatization or some kind of situation bring about some kind of mental relapse. You know, it's like a, a meltdown, basically. Yeah. But like, I still think though that that unless you got like some kind of physical, like physical uh, imbalance or or. I don't know though. I just I don't know. I just a lot of it though. I just I, I don't believe. I, I think a lot they a lot of people just Hype. getting doped up. You getting these these uh Free these Adderall. these diet diagnoses because they can't explain no other reason why you doing the shit you doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you this dope and you take it and now you classified right. as having a mental now, illness. Now you can get this dope anything you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you super stupid. Man. <laughs> Hey, we go. <laughs> On that note, man, we gonna go back to the phone lines. I got a, uh, <laughs> I got three one three eight nine six. You on live straight from the E block. I'll let your boy. What up, though? Hi, hi, how you doing? All right, All right now. I just like, um, I just call and put my input. Uh, I don't think it's very uh, serious, like mental illnesses. Like, yes, you do have those cases where people just spaz out and they don't have much patience. But when it comes down to everybody, like everybody's an individual, but they don't have the same beliefs, the same values, the same priorities. Like some people don't value life, so they go out and they take their anger out on somebody else and that cause murder. Like me, I have no rage. And they say it's a diagnosis for that and I can't possibly get a treatment for that. That's because it's ADHD. You can't. <laughs> just because I'm a patient, you can't give me no pill for that. I'm just impatient. <laughs> I'm just Right. <laughs> so You're crazy I don't know. Girl. That's just kind of bizarre. Some some people just take it to a whole different level because they ain't they not strong enough to handle some situations, and they just go and take the easiest route. But 
doctors not making it much better with diagnosing people and giving them pills in certain situations right. just to calm them down. They make people are people. They're going to be different no matter what. Right, and I feel like the doctors make names up for shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just to sell their yeah. drug. You know what I mean? I mean, they're drug They enabling people to do it. Like, oh, well, I killed them because I'm crazy, so right, it's fine. Right. No, exactly. it's not. Exactly. <laughs> you killed right. them because you know how to deal with stuff. You need some behind bars. You're crazy. Right. <laughs> You're right. crazy. Hey, that's, that's what's up, baby. Hey, what was your name again? Brittany. 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 All right, Brittany. Hey, thanks for your call, man. Tell everybody where you calling from. Um, Grand River, driving <laughs> down the street right now. Oh, wait, you better get off the phone, crazy. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tune in. I had to show support, but thanks for listening. Oh, yeah, that's what's up, baby. Hey, thanks for you. All right. All right. What up, though? Oh, two Gs. What up, though? Hey, we got a doc, two Gs in the building. What up, what? You know what I'm saying? Just back from uh, from tour or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Slide in. You want to slide the chair out? You want to get up there? There you go, dog. I'm going to have two Gs back in the building. What's up, fellas? What's up? What's going on? All right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we good. So that weekend. Uh, we we already passed that part. <laughs> yeah, but uh if you uh if you all use stream right now, don't forget man, 760-283-4647. Uh hit that number one key if you're on the line right now. Oh, oh, oh. one. Yeah, one. number one. You ain't been gone that long. Hey but look, since uh since you just getting here, man, what's your input on it, dog? Like mental illness in the black community, man. Is it is it for real? Uh, like is cats out here crazy for real or Hey man, um, I experienced uh, your spurs experienced women on a whole different level, and uh, yeah, yeah, it is some crazy folks around here, you know. As far as uh, yeah, it, it's crazy. Is it women folk? That's what women you said. folk. Yes, yeah. women folk. Uh, they are mentally crazy. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway, so right, 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 I don't right. know about dudes, you know, but my, my, my circle seems cool, you know, I never dated none of them, no <laughs> <laughs> but women, yeah, y'all, uh, you know, now I won't, now when, I, when I say, when I say mentally, mental <laughs> illness, I mean like for real, for real, like just, I like diagnosis, like chemical imbalance, yeah, like I'm taking Bipolarism. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, now that though, for real, it's a, it's yeah, a lot yeah. of it's right. a lot of bipolar. And I think people. it's a people, a lot of bipolar people that don't know. That they don't know it. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, for sure. Because yeah. motherfucker, you be cool for one second, then bitch, what's wrong with you? Right, right. <laughs> oh motherfucker, calm down, dog. Right. You went from fucking zero to ten, quick as shit. Right. Yeah. And you know what? I mean, I, I know we probably being sexist on the show, but I mean, all the <laughs> I probably should have said it up. Huh? All the bipolar people I know are women, so <laughs> I, I'm just saying. So if it's right. any, if it's any ladies on the line or on your stream right now, and you know some dudes that's bipolar, and hit that number one key and holler at us, cause uh, this ain't even funny. Uh, any dudes that's bipolar besides Bobby Brown? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid man. Hey, but I, I don't know, man. I, I just think of it. <laughs> I think a lot of it. I can help it. I, I guess so. I, help it. Sorry, I think a lot of it's just diagnosis, man. I mean, it could be it could be real diagnosis, but I just feel like if you what made what make your mind not strong enough to go through some of the like the the craziness. Like I ain't never been I ain't never been depressed, but from what I understand, it's depression depressing. is real. Oh yeah, it's yeah. yeah. I've been depressed. Shut your ass up. You been you been depressed? Oh before? yeah, yeah. Hair falling out, yeah. skinny oh, and shit. Man, well I've been depressed about about seven years. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I can't say I actually uh, went through depression. But uh, I've been have, I had moments where I wasn't happy. I don't want to say depressed. Yeah. But I think that's a whole different emotion or something. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's a whole know. different thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, and and uh, the whole thing about depression and mental illness and stuff like that just kind of go into. You know what I'm saying? What happened earlier this month with Don Cornelius. I just can't. I ain't never. Well, I guess I can say never. I'm going to never get to the point where, where I want to off myself, though. I don't know. Ever. Man, what I don't understand is, like, how do you live to, how old was about 80? <laughs> you about good 70 something, though, yeah. Like, how do you get that old decides you want to check yourself out, man? Like, what could have been that bad, you know? Well, like I said, they say because of his, his mental illness, I guess. I guess he has some, has some depression going on. But at, at 80. You just ride that out, man. Ride it out. That's like, easy to say. You know what I'm saying? No, man. No, it ain't, man. Come on, man. My granddaddy wasn't 
um saying when he before he passed. My grandmama didn't remember the last ten minutes before she passed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she rolled it out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that's the cowardly way to take you take you know take yourself out, bro. Yeah. You know, I think that's really really cowardly. I mean, it's people. It's people though that that. That's, Hey, I can't do it though. That's yeah, all I'm saying. I, I can't. I ain't. <laughs> right. I don't want to. Yeah. Hey, I, it ain't even just about being scared. I just ain't want to. I don't want to. Yeah. There's so many other things I need to get accomplished. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, and I, and I just don't want to feel what they feel like right now. Yeah. Right. Just, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Man. For real. <laughs> Stupid, man. Hey, that just reminds me. This is. I probably shouldn't be talking about this. But it just remind me of some uh <laughs> some of man that said the other day, man. Shout out to uh shout out to my nigga OG, man. <laughs> he said he said if people found out dying was cold, everybody be trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he no. said everybody be lining up trying right. to get trying to get off. <laughs> yeah, that, that was kinda of funny though. Yeah. But uh no. I think it definitely are some people who I mean just can't basically can't get their mind right. But then it, it's just to me, I think it's, it's so many people that that's milking the system or being wrongly diagnosed that is yeah to reap benefits that is making it seem like it's not really an issue, and I guess that's an issue all in itself, really. I mean, if you look at it like that, I mean, in the black community, man, there's so much stuff that we that we try to look beyond. Like, I mean, let, let's keep it real, dog. We gonna keep it honest with you, killing yourself and 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 depression. I mean, when we grew up with some white people shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, it real talk, you know what I'm saying? So, that was, that was always, like, something that didn't affect black people. But, you know what? I think it always did. We just never said nothing about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shit like that going on. I, I think now that, uh, <laughs> whatever, man. I think now that, that that is becoming more prevalent in our, in our society, man, we're starting to open our eyes a little bit. But, at the same time, it's also giving, giving way for people to take advantage of the system. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, but that's always gonna happen. I was just about to say that, man. Yeah. I mean, they gonna take advantage of the system, no matter no matter what, what system they put in. They gonna find a loophole. <laughs> Go find one. one. Yeah. Hell no, you think you get? I know it ain't always black people, but you know them just most of the people I know. So that's more that get caught. Right. Right. Hey, we gonna go back to the phone lines real quick, man. I got a three one three nine nine five. You on live? Straight from the E block. I'll let your boy. I'm all out here. Hey, hey, buddy. Nah, nah, fine. Hey, how you doing? What up, though? The last, the last thing you made, young, the uh, host, the great host, and and published write up two or uh, two books. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. Some of you on the dress in our in our community, like I don't remember my grandma ever being depressed. She just went to work every day and did what she was supposed to do. But then she got older, and you start seeing she was just worn out mentally. She wanted. She didn't, she didn't put my other grandkids, my great grandkids in place like she did us because she was stressed out and didn't know how to deal with depression. Now she old and she just went along with her crazy shit her great grand, her great grandkids did. We don't address any black community, in my opinion. And like you said, people do milk the system. You can't look up somebody applying for social security disability at 32 years old. I'm literally confused. Like, <laughs> they got a brand new, brand new color, color letter. <laughs> pelly, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, then you wonder why all the money gonna be gone by the time we we retire, and then we pay all the money to a tax uh, social security system that's supposed to set us up for our retirement. But everybody out here milking the system, and you know you shouldn't. It's kind of it's like you you you, you hurt you you hurt us on the loan in the loan on grand scheme. Then you get your money now, so you ain't got to work. I'm on this SSI. I ain't got to work. Does that? At 32 years old, but you won't be 60 and go on wheel, and you're going to need that money at 60. Because then you ain't trying to work at home down on 75 years old. Right. <laughs> right. How can I help you? I'm going to do that, but like, it's just unfortunate that we do that. And it's a mental. I think some of it actually has pause, but then some of it, I think that's just doctors want to act like they want to make a, a, an improvement in today's life. This is pills you can take that are control ADD, or pills you can take that are stop. Uh, Tourette syndrome and all that stuff. It's like some stuff, Tourette, that's just, that's just an inner reaction in the brain. Nothing you can do about that. But ADD, 
it comes down like no offense, I don't have the blueprint, but it's like you create kids, give kids structure, you give kids structure, hell I may be being up thirty two years old. <laughs> tell me I need to be popping pills. You know what I'm saying? Tell me I need to be popping pills. But it's the fact that when you create structure, a lot of stuff I know to walk away from because I'm thirty I mean, I can't go do that, let me sit down. When kids they taught that at an early age, they look like they get A D D and our system is so easy to allow that to be be put upon them and put into a class and given the pill. And you just see how it complete one eighty eight change when they own that pill every day and it looks like you just took that kid's spirit. Right. They're not they're not destructive or tearing up the class, they just don't know how to focus. Right. In my opinion. Right. That's what's that's, up, though. That's all I got to say. That's all you got to say. All right, all right. All right. What's all right. up? Sure. <laughs> no, next week next week I'll catch me out there at uh I'm gonna be uh break dancing on uh, seven mile Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> See, see, that's what my phone dudes I'm talking about. Man. Hey, hey, thank you for the call, dog. Hey, Where's that again? Yeah. Where you two in that one? Right. That, 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 see, that's that bipolar shit I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 he, he was all good for a second, then he just went to that bipolar shit. Hopefully, pull up and take the meds or whatever, man. Nah, but uh, yeah, I, I, like you said, I was just, it's the same kind of thing. Just like with your uh, with your kid or whatever. Instead of getting, instead of trying to diagnose them with uh. Um, yeah, I mean, giving them Ritalin or whatever. It's, it's all about, it go back to, to parenting and experiences. I think I think if you get the, if you get the right experiences, well, I, I won't even say right. I say if you get uh, justifiable experiences as a kid, I don't think pills, I don't think you're going to need pills. I don't think it's going right. to be no kind of mental illness unless you got some kind of for real physical defect. Yeah. Like, that's different. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you... If you you know if you uh if you got some kind of like mental uh, retardation or whatever that's different that's an actual physical ailment yeah. but as far as you you was regular two weeks ago but now you just super hyper and then you want to take some drugs because of it I don't, I don't know man you know what I'm saying hey but uh don't forget though seven six zero two eight three forty six forty seven if you on you straight and uh just wanna. Wave at my girl real quick because I know she's looking. So, but I told y'all I was gonna wave. You thought I was playing. But uh, hit that number one key though. If you're on the phone line right now, you know what I'm saying. Hit that number one key, and don't forget to if you're on Twitter, you can hit us up at. <laughs> you hit us up at Real Monk Money or Hood Howard Stern. You feel me? All right, but uh, we're gonna go back to the phone lines real quick though. I got uh three one three six eight zero. You on live? Straight from the e block. I let your boy. Six 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 eight zero. Six eight zero. Really? Oh yeah. I never seen her like it. Okay. Six eight zero. Maybe your dad. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's right. Uh, <laughs> right. This sounds like somebody butt down us, but uh, real quick though, three one three six eight zero. If you really want to say something, then hit that number one key. And then hit it again so we can bring you back on. I think you might have had uh, hit that by accident. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bud Dollars. Right. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, should we? What time is 7 11? I mean, we ain't did no Twitter shout outs yet, but we'll go to the next caller first. I'm going to take the next call. I got 313 208. You on live straight from the E Block. Holla at your boy. What up, though? Hey, what's up, E Block? What up, though? Cheetah. No, what's happening? So, Shit. I just woke up, bro. I'm supposed to be in the studio today, but um, I just I just woke up and tuned in or whatever. What you was depressed? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I was. I just got so much on my mind. I see you didn't say we got cheated on the line, so I was I was depressed trying to figure out what I should call myself next. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, um, the whole little mental illness thing, I really think sometimes it has to do with a person's personality along with, you know, they psyche. Like, you know, I'm the type of person, you know, personally, you know, I'm the type of person where as I just try to deal the cards that I'm dealt with every day, no matter what it is. And some people, you know, they can't function, they can't cope. You know, one thing happened you know, be down if another thing happened and then, you know, they just let go. You know, they, they shut down. Yeah. You know, they don't want to be bothered. They don't want to talk. You know, and, and and to me, that makes it worse. 
Right. There's days when I feel like, it, you know, it's just all too much. But I know if I come in the house, cut, cut my phone off, cut my TV off, don't say nothing to the outside world or my family, then I know I'm automatically, you know, making myself worse. Because yeah. I need, you know, stuff around me, you know, my people, my family, you know, love. I need to be embraced to get up out whatever funk that I'm in, you know, or, you know, just mental mood that I'm in. I just, you know, mood, you know? Right. But at the end of the day, I would think you, you kind of determine your mood, your day, you know, however it's going to go, however you're going to react yep. or not react to such a situation. Yep. You I know, so you got to have a little bit more self-control than that. Yep, yep. And I feel like if you put it in the atmosphere, like, look, my day going to be smooth, I'm chilling, work going to be all right, I ain't going to let nobody bother me. You let you put it out in the atmosphere, you baby. You have to do that. Put it out in the atmosphere, mm-hmm. and, and watch it happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Speaking into existence, that's what's right, up. Right, right. All right, all right. Because, I mean, plenty of people don't understand that. Like, you know, it's different for everybody. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, plenty of people Exhaust all possibilities to at least make sure that I try to control the situation. And if it's just something that's just totally beyond my control, then guess what? Sit back, chill out, cool out, wait for another day. You got another chance, another attempt to, you know, do something better. Mm-hmm. For sure. Hey, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks for your call, though, Cheater. Appreciate it. All right. Cheater, that's not my name. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. What is it? <laughs> I'm going to go with the unknown. I don't know if y'all like go-getters. Oh, I don't I'm going to say go-getters. Huh? Okay. Okay. Let me get on the phone with me up with go-getters. You okay. didn't. Oh, all right. My bad. We got you this time. Hey, so uh, so tell everybody where you calling from, go-getter. Uh, I'm calling from uh, Beverly Hills, Michigan. <laughs> Beverly Hills, Michigan. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's that's, that's that's what I am in my head right now. It's all in my psyche. Who is a psycho? <laughs> <laughs> I right, do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to have a little summer Beverly. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, so what, man? Whatever. If you're on your street. <laughs> she break your heart, too? If you're on your street. Yeah, sorry. Never, never go to hey, man, you. If you're on your street, man, hit us up, man. You got like uh, about 15 minutes, man. Hit us up. 760. 760- Two eight three, forty six forty seven. Hit that number one key. All right, and hey, we gonna do some uh, couple of Twitter shout outs real quick though. Um, did y'all have some? Y'all got some? I'm the only one to ever do this, huh? So let me see. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh, they got Twitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you on Twitter though, don't forget, man. Hit us up. Hood Howard Stern, Real Monk Money, and uh, Doc Diggler. That's what uh, two G's. <laughs> All right, let's see what we. What we got popping right here. Let's see what we got. And as soon as the screen pop up, you know what I'm saying, on that low key, uh-huh. slow ass internet. Uh-huh. Let me get a. Let's see what we want to do. I don't want to do none of those. Let's do. Uh, let's give a shout out to uh, Drina. I got uh, Edna Washington. That's a. Uh, let's see. I got uh, Mr. Free at Last. I got. That is what that is, huh? Okay. I got. Uh, Huh? I got a uh, carry candies, and I got a uh, gotcha back int. That's a uh, ent. That's uh, my man Big Hurt right there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Big Hurt, uh, Detroit talent right there. You know what I'm saying? I got a. Uh, let's do two more. I got a. Uh, let's do a uh, doll of style, and then I got a uh, my famous 2012. All right. Let's go. Let me see. I got something else here. Oh, that's just <laughs> she retired. <laughs> hey, um, shout out to my girl TT man over there with her uh, polka dot sc- scarf on, <laughs> camouflage do rag. But um, let me see, what was we talking about though? Oh, we back on here. Yeah. Um, but I mean though, I think though sometimes though they embrace that shit. Like that bitch Nicki Minaj, that bullshit she doing, that bullshit she did at the Grammys and shit. What's wrong about what she did? Man, that shit retarded, man. What's so wrong about it? It's fucking entertaining. It's fucking poker guy shit, shit, man. She got it from a movie. Man, fuck that. She got it from a movie. Man, she retarded. So she, is the movie said, retarded? No, yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. okay. And then she okay. embracing the retardedness and beating the movie. off of it. She, for, she got it from the movie. You mm-hmm. mad at the movie. Uh, mad. Hey, yo. Uh, join me on Twitter, bitch. Nikki's number one fan. <laughs> 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 
Whatever, man. Hey, don't hit that. I'll just make that Twitter. Don't hit that. That might be a real Twitter, but ain't mine. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, man. So, yeah. hey, don't forget, man. You stream 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key. But, um, so let's, uh, let's just go around, man. Y'all know anybody personally that's been clinically diagnosed, like bipolarisms? Um, I, I had a, um, a Muppet in my life at one time. A what? A Muppet. She wasn't the cutest girl, man. You know the cute. I had a Muppet in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she, a Muppet? Yeah, a Muppet. <laughs> she stopped me like hell, man. And she was taking, uh, man. Oh, depression. damn, I ain't now. I forgot yeah, what you was talking about. Depression pills on top of depression pills. Uh, all type of garbage, man. It was oh, a real yeah, tragic moment that. in my life. <laughs> real tragic. Yeah. I, ain't yeah. a, I mean, I know some, I don't know, I know, I, honestly, though, I know, I know a few people that, uh, that's like either seeing counselors or take some kind of prescription drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't really think they're crazy, though. I just, I just think they was, some of the people that's kind of, <laughs> you know, been, been diagnosed, so they kind of just rolling with it. But, but yeah. I think people that need to be treated are people that talk to themselves and answer back. I think they need to be treated. Yeah, yeah now that's, a, that's a real yeah. mental illness. They ain't no joke right there. What's for breakfast? I don't think I have pancakes. Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> that's shout funny. Out to, that's shout funny. out to my mama. Oh, man. <laughs> Hey, we're going to go back to the phone lines, man. I got, yeah, that was bubble. I got 313-371. Um, you on live, straight from the E-Block. Holla at your boy. What up, though? Hello. What up, though? What's going on? Not much. Okay. I have a, um, I know somebody that was diagnosed schizophrenic, right? Oh, man. They schizophrenic. They don't take their pills. <laughs> on top of that, they pop ecstasy pills. Wow. All wow. day. Wow. wow. I bet that person. Ah, right that there. motherfucker got to be thrown off. That's be, crazy. Yeah, That's crazy. Alien. He gotta be uh, super. On top high. of on top of the liquor, on top of the weed, Dang. all day, every day. Wow. He ain't crazy. Twenty. Yeah. 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 So how do you how do that work? Like, did, 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 do that take do that take place at a at a medication or something? Man, I don't know. Um, yeah. I think it. I think it's worse. I mean, I think it. Does nothing for them. I think yeah. it's just like a booster. I really, I really think they need the medication. I think that's just something to keep them. I think they use that to act like, oh, this is why I'm crazy. This is why I act wild because I be drunk. I pop pills. Like, no, you crazy because you a shit so You need the medication and you need to take it. Damn. Like that's the reason why you crazy. You know what I mean? But, Damn. Yeah, she. Yeah, she's and then she like wild on top of that. So it's like it kind of like blend in. And you'll think like. Well, maybe she just off. Oh, no, 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 please don't do that. And, you know, I think she's trying to make it like, well, if I wouldn't pop so many pills, you know, maybe I would be okay. But it's not the pills. And people don't realize that it's not the ecstasy pills. Like they're really crazy. Y'all still be hanging out? Yep, you hang out with it too. Nah, nah, no, I don't. You no, crazy. I don't. You crazy too. I don't too. hang out with him. <laughs> no, I don't. She I'm probably, home. She I probably getting home. Get it. She probably getting her pills from you, ain't she? Right. <laughs> I'm gonna have some. <laughs> and hey, and if you need some pills, you can get some from me too. <laughs> I, was, I knew it. I knew it. Right. Right. Hey, you sound like the dope man. I knew yeah, it. Right, right. <laughs> hey, no, nah. no, that's what's up, though, baby. Hey, tell everybody where you call it from, though. Or not. In my house. All right. That's what's up. Hey, thank you for the call, though. He'll fuck around and get her indicted. All right. <laughs> right. He's going to get indicted. Right. He's like, he said, right. what? Right. He signed by over here. Right. <laughs> she did the right thing in my house. Hell yeah. Not three times. Hey. Low key, she, 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 she got the pills for real, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't really into that thing no more. Right. Because we straight laced adults now. Right. 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 <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Whatever, man. Hey. Right. Yeah, I'm still pro marijuana. I'm taking a break right now, but I'm still I'm still for it. You know what I'm saying? For it. For it. Yeah, for it. But um, yeah, like you say, it's people out there. I see that's what I'm talking about. Like it's people out there that's like that it, they got diagnosed, but they ain't really crazy. You know what I'm saying? And they kind of taking advantage of the situation. And then you got those. 
that really need some help, man, and they ain't trying to get it. Oh, no, yeah. And see, that's the problem yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. and then the motherfuckers, the crazy motherfuckers, man, if they want to rob you, <laughs> then, then something just click in the head, shoot this motherfucker, and boom. Yeah. Shoot you and rob you. Like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? Man? Right. Like, I wonder how many of them chicks that, uh, at Motor City was bipolar. Probably, like, probably like <laughs> 10 of them. But <laughs> all 10 of them. All 10 of them. I saw that, man. I ain't seen that. That shit was retarded. Yeah, yeah, they was getting yeah. in. And what's funny about it, like, I think I, I think I saw this right. I think that the chicks that started that shit got smashed and shit. Bro. Somebody was stretched out. Someone, they zoomed on somebody. Yeah. Somebody was stretched out. Somebody stretched out. Somebody scooped out. was like, girl, get your ass up. <laughs> out there acting all bipolar and shit. Right. But, uh, no, I mean, I came up on this uh, on this topic, man, because... It's it's kind of crazy. Uh, I'm gonna quit using the word crazy though. It is. But it's kind of it's kind of crazy just how many people that that really that's really depressed though, or at least they say they're depressed. I mean, and, and be actively contemplating suicide though. I ain't never in my life. I ain't never in my life thought about it. I thought about relocating. <laughs> right, that's, that's about it. I thought about loading up the pistol, coming right? Down. And shooting somebody else. Yeah, right, 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 right. Well, I ain't gonna shoot me. I might hit a bank or two. Right, do some, man. I don't know. What y'all doing tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Right. But I, it's 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 experiences, though. I, I think if I think if we uh the reason is becoming more, acceptable. you know, what I'm saying, oh, well, not acceptable, but the reason it's happening more. In our community, it's cause cause the fuck the way we raising our kids, feeding mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Papa, mm-hmm. right, and let them listen and church and chicken, and let them listen to Nikki, right, right, oh, man, no. just yeah. like that, right, right. right. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with Nikki, man. Yeah, they yeah. do the same shit in the rock concert. Let's go to rock concert. I know they do. All right, Ron well, Nikki ain't doing the hip hop concert. It's I don't shit. know what the hell the song was. It, about. it ain't right well, when I was they do it either, though. It ain't right when they do it. Either. I was entertained. I was entertained. All right, and anyway, nothing. What was you about to say? I want to entertain. She didn't have all nothing tight enough. Oh. <laughs> for you to be entertained. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I. But it's it's the it's the upbringing it's the upbringing though. I think kids kids at a at a young age are are uh they they got too much access to shit they ain't got no business yeah, having and, access to. Yes, and they're sponges. And yeah, they, they sponges. Soak up, soak up everything. Yeah, I think that's the only thing, or like yeah, probably like the only thing that kept us halfway sane is not knowing a lot of this shit. As a kid, mm-hmm. like, cause to be honest with you, man, I think you'd be better off not knowing about a whole lot of this shit. Because it's gonna happen when you become an adult. Whatever my mama did, did shit, I was in the room. And yeah. Come out that bitch. Yeah, exactly. You know <laughs> I mean, cause it's some shit, man. You don't need you don't need to be exposed mm-hmm. to. Period. And I think that exposure <clears throat> is what's making a lot of these, a lot of these people crazy. <laughs> I guess I keep using that word. I guess. Crazy. Hey, but look, if you on uh, if you on U stream though, you got like five minutes, you know what I'm saying, to call in. So you guys uh gotta hit us up. 763 4647 and uh hit that number one key. You know what I'm saying? And um kick it with us live on, on the air. But uh shout out to uh <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with it, but shout out to old girl who uh who told me when I asked her was she gonna listen to our radio show. And she said she don't listen to rap music. Um, shout out to her. Because okay. I guess I guess she didn't realize this is a talk radio show. Right, so, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the people that's supporting us. And uh, that know that we don't play just rap music on our show. Yeah. Dog, hold up, son. What up? Is that man? her? No. Dog. What the fuck? Damn no. I ain't heard from her. I'm, I'm, I'm damn this scared to hit the button. Shit. I don't right, see what right. she got to say. She ain't called in about three months. She got three months of shit to talk about. Right, you know what I'm saying? What, hey, what you got to say that her? You only got a limited time. Yeah, you know you got I'm a moment. I'm going to take 313-410. You on live. Straight from the e-block. How's your boy? What up, though? <laughs> what up, e-block? Shit, what up, though? I can't even Huh? Where you been at, hey? Nigga, I've been sick as a little sick. This real sick. I can't even call it. The last three weeks, I've been in the hospital on Tuesday. Shit. Damn. Yeah. I missed y'all too. Say we missed you too. That's like cool. I've been flight cool. What the hell y'all talking about today? <laughs> I just rolled over. Like, damn, eat like today. I can call. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know y'all talking about. Hey, we talking. So, I just said, like, say what up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's like. Hey, we talking about mental illness in the, in the black community, though. What you know about being bipolar? Well, I'm not 
Hey, thanks for stopping in the studio. Two G's on his way out the door. For sure, for sure. All right, my man. I'll holler at you, though. Make sure you bring some uh, bring some groupies back for us next time, though. I got so what y'all like? I got like milfs. I got uh, pee popping grannies. Hey, I'm I'm down. Okay, okay, okay. (laughs) Whatever, man. Whatever you bring to the party. (laughs) All right, I'll holler at you, though. Yeah. Anyway, man. (laughs) I guess we go. uh, Go ahead and wrap it up on up out of here since uh two G's gotta go back on tour. Right. Yeah, anything. So um I don't know, man, what you wanna say about it? You say it's just a whole bunch of crazy motherfuckers. It is, bro. There's <laughs> some nutty bitches out here, man. Yeah. And I ain't talking about just women though, man. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I do. You know, and like like you know, old girl said that her said. Motherfuckers need to take it and they're afraid to take they're it. Afraid. And they're thinking that somebody gonna say something about them and tease them. 
fuck what another person think, man. Because they ain't with you when these people talking to you in your head. In your head, right. 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 Ain't, ain't nobody there but you and them people. You know yeah, what exactly. Saying? So, exactly. you know, you need to, you know, take care of that, man. Take care of yourself, man. I have a tattoo on my on my wrist, on my forearm that says, to thy own self be true. Yeah. Then you can be true to others. You know what I'm saying? You got to exactly. be true with yourself. with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to have yourself healthy. If you ain't got yourself healthy or your mind healthy, Everything around you ain't gonna, ain't, ain't gonna ain't be gonna, fucked ain't up. Be right, right. Yeah. Everything, you know what I mean. So me personally, man, people, man, get your mind right, man. Get you right first before you start cons being concerned about other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get your get your situation right. You know I what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, that's what's up, man. And then, like I said, it's it's uh, it's definitely a lot more people, especially in our community. That's uh you know that's dealing with mental illness and probably don't even know it. Right. And then it's, it's so many that that have been diagnosed that are dealing with it, but won't take their meds. So it's just it's it's a fucked up situation, man. Like you said though, you gotta be real with yourself, man. So mm -hmm. if you having issues, get help. Like don't nobody in, in in real life as an adult, don't nobody really care. No, don't nobody really care, care about what you going through, yeah. man. They can care less, man. Everybody want to blame it on the white man. He give a shit what you doing, as long as you keep doing what your dumb ass doing and stay in that hole. Right, you know exactly. What I'm yeah. So, yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, so look, if you out there and you bipolar right now, man, get some, <laughs> get some help. That's not even funny though. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious though. I know. If you, if you got, if you got issues, man, get help though. In real life. No, you you the one got to answer to yourself at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to deal with this. Shit. You got to deal with this shit, man. You got to be in that straight jacket. I don't. Right. I, and I know it's no bad because I laugh, but people just do crazy shit, man. They you know do. what I'm saying? You know you need this. You think you're gonna get high and drink, and you go and, and that's gonna go away. away the pain. No. It'll make you forget about it yeah, for right you, then for, for that couple minutes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That hour or two. You know what I'm saying? Then you right back. Who's that? Who's that? Right. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> Have the whole yeah, conversation right, right, with yourself, right. man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. I mean, I'm, let me say, man, be real with yourself, man. You know you got a situation to deal with. Deal with it, cause deal nobody ain't gonna help you. Nobody don't care what the hell is going on in your life. You gotta do you. You gotta do you. Yeah. That's right, man. So take care of yourself, man. Hey, on that note, though. We're going to be up out of here, though. We'll be back next week, though, same time, 6.30. Hey, but where, where you at? If you in the city, you need to holler at your boy tonight, man. We shutting down Erotic City tonight. Yes, holler, at, holler at me. Uh, I'm about to say who that was, sir. Me, Mark Money, and my man, Jay. You know what I'm saying? Our old, uh, old co-host who going to never come to the show. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Holler us down at Erotic City, down on uh, on Conan. You know, you know where Erotic City at. Mm -hmm. If you in the city, come holler at us tonight. We down here at Erotic City. Only five dollar drinks. You know what I'm saying? I know it's Tuesday. Go ahead and start your weekend early. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. We about to. We about to. Hey, it's your boy, man. The hood, Howard Stern, Q Lewis, Monk Money. Yo, we about here, man. You know what it is? E Block in the building, man. Young shot, take us out, man. Niggas up on every song, trying to make things right, cause I didn't get so much wrong. I'm praying time don't pass me up, got me running deep. Sometimes my wish life was a dream, but I'm never sleep. I'm looking at my son, hoping I can make it better. I gotta make these moves quick, gotta get together. I'm getting older now, I can't let time pass me up. People trying to hold me down, but I'm never giving up. My mind struggles day to day, gotta make a way. Niggas say I can't do better, fuck what niggas gotta say. It's only me, but fuck it, I'ma still make it out. Crying every day, but she just told me what my life's about. No matter what I'm faced with, I'm still going on. Through the pressure and pain, I still stand strong. I just let these niggas talk and still do me. My crying never stop, nigga, how it's supposed to be. Yeah.
niggas here road didn't have shit Got on my grind and my hustle, I ain't stopping shit Too many niggas walked away and couldn't help me out And now I'm seeing what my real niggas all about Pussy, I need on my own fighting every day Bro, no money, maintain, still made a way Cause you can never hold a real ass nigga down I got my head to the sky, feet to the ground I had to make a way, struggle too many years Pissed off in myself, cause I see my mom and kids Niggas take my shit for bullshit, hey I promise I'ma make it right, I'ma make a way And you don't have to do a thing, just sit and chill And you will never have to worry about them fucking bills I put it on my life, everything gon' be alright I know it's hard right now, but we gon' take it right Friday City tonight, dog. Five dollar drinks. Come, Call it your boy. Come holler at us, dog. We getting it in, man. We getting drunk, have some fun, man. Clowning. <laughs>